In this video, we learn about the story points. Story points are basically a sequential way of visualizing your analyzed data. Suppose if you have created multiple graphs, multiple maps in your workbook and you want to display in a one go at one place in a sequential manner, you have to take help of story points. Now, uh, first of all, I'll show you an example here which I've created. I'm working in a workbook named as story points and that's a sample story which I've created here. But before jumping to this place, I'll show you what data I have analyzed in different worksheets. So if you see here, if I select this segment wise sales, I have created this funnel chart. If I click on this state wise sales, I have created this map. If I go to this country wise sales, that's a word map which I've created. Subcategory sales, that's a bar graph which I've created. Year wise sales, that is a line chart or you can say field map itself I've created. Now also I've created one dashboard that is consisting of three different worksheets. Now what I want is if I want everything at one place in a sequential manner, so I've created a story point here. So what story point says, I have to just click on this place and, I'll, and the funnel chart would be displayed. If I click on this text, you see that's a map would be displayed. Same way, if I want to show all this different analysis, what I've done at one place in a sequential manner, I'll be using this story point. So if you see here, if I click on this place, now what is this exactly? Whatever analysis are done, so I've written here, consumer sales are the highest among the segments. So consumer is a segment which the it is the highest sales that is 51%. If I select the second option here, it says California has the highest sales among all the states. So that's a California, the sales are highest among all the places. The third one, if you see India is a good market for a product. So India, it is highlighted into the bigger font itself and the color is different. So it is nothing but the highest sales. So same way, you can keep on telling your story into a one place that's in a sequential manner, whatever analysis you have done. So it makes our work easy to find out where we have to invest, where we have to reduce the work itself. So let us see how do I create a story point from scratch. There are different methods to create a story point. The first and the easy method, a shortcut method. You can just click on this third option that is nothing but a story point. If I click on this place, a separate sheet would be created named as story2 because already I've created story1. So it is a story2. Or the other method I can show you if you want to create a story, you can click on this story drop down and you can select this option as new story. So I'll just click that place outside here. Now, when you create a story, what exactly do you want in that story? Do you want a dashboard or different sheets? So these are the different sheets which you have already created. If you see segment wise sales, that segment wise sales, state wise sales, state wise sales. And the last one, if you observe here, the last one is given as dashboard one. So I've also created here a dashboard one, which is displayed. So how do I create a story point first of all? So what I'll do is I'll simply pick up this segment wise sales and drop it into this place. And if you observe here, it is not displaying entirely. I have to scroll down so that I can see this image completely here. I'll just scroll down like this. So what I want, if I want to fit it at one place, I can just do it this way. I'll scroll up and then if I want to put a fit into this, so I'll select this option as size, story size is given here. And there are, if I click on the first option that is given as fixed size, click on this fixed size and I'll select as automatic. So it will capture the entire space and automatically it will fit into this place. Now it is easily visible for me. This is the first one. If I want to add some caption, I'll just double click on this place and I can just keep on typing. Consumer sales is the highest and this is done here. Now, if I want to add one more sheet or one more analysis in this place, simply I'll pick up this state wise sales and I can drop it before or after if you see the arrow keys which are given here if I put it before or after so right now I'll put it before itself and if you see now it is showing as the map graph and the second one it is showing at this place when I select the second one when I add the second analysis or view I'll be getting this arrow keys backward and forward arrow keys where I can navigate between the she uh, you can see the view itself so now I'll say as this one I'll just double click on this place and I'll say as simply I'll write as something as map view and I'll click outside Whatever sheets you have added, there will be a blue checkbox. If you see here, there's a blue tick mark which is given. That means this sheets have been added into your uh, story itself. Again, I'll add the third one. Again, I'll add the fourth one, somewhere in between. Again, I'll add the fifth one. And same way, I'll add the dashboard also in this place. Now, if I, if I show you at one place how it goes, see first one it says, this is some map graph, which is given as word map. Second is given as bar chart. I can just keep on adding the different names and it will work. Third one, if you see, that's a line itself. And the fourth one is the dashboard, which is given. 
fifth one there's something else the map view so this way i can just tell a story or i can just tell what i have done in the all analysis part it is very easy to analyze now like you analyze your dashboard your worksheet or whatever sheets you have they are interactive storyboards are also interactive you can interact with your graphs or maps now for example i have created here a story point i'll show you one map which i have created at this place yeah let's say for example this one this is a dashboard which i have created and i have imported into the story point itself now these are if you see there's a filter which is given if i keep on selecting the filter it is interactive you see the the values in this place will change you see that's changing here the values are changing so it is fully interactive like the worksheet or you have the uh, dashboard itself so it's very easy to understand and use it now sometimes if you want to add one more option here if i want to add one more view here you can just click on this blank a new story point would be created so i'll just click on this blank and you are, if you observe here there's a blank space which is given here whatever i want i can just add it this place same way if you want to create a duplicate of this one you can just select this option as duplicate and the duplicate would be created you see a duplicate is created at this place now the next one if i show you there's if you want you can add a title to your story point right now the title is given as story 2 if i just click on this place the story 2 title will go story 2 is nothing but the story sheet name itself whatever you have given so if i click on this show title the title will be given if you want to modify you can just double click on this place and you can just type here anything you want analysis part 1 select this change the font alignment make it some different color increase the font size and then click on apply okay so this way you can give it and when you represent this option if you see this is how it looks like then you can keep on shifting and you can keep on showing what is the analysis done at different places like this okay it's very simple and easy part again now let's see some more options which are given here now if you see if i want to add some text to, to my uh, story point suppose if i go to this place if i select any story point here i want to tell this is an interactive graph which is given here i can add some text so i'll just pick up this drag to add a text here anywhere and i can just type here as interactive chart click on okay and if you see here there's a small text which is given i can just put it anywhere here interactive chart so when a user is seeing this for the first time he'll he'll understand this chart is an interactive chart i can select the options from this place or else if you want to give some information still you can give some information using this adding a text part let's see some more options here if you go to this layout part you have a uh, few things which are given one is the caption boxes and second is the number this are nothing but the caption boxes which are right now i have not given the name only few places i have given the name caption boxes instead of this boxes if you want something different let's say numbers now if you observe this caption boxes has been removed and only a number is be given first second third fourth fifth and sixth so like this these are nothing but story points which are given same way if you observe there are some arrows which are given the left arrow and the right arrow if you don't want this arrows simply click on this place and the arrows will be removed from this place so if you want you can just bring it back part right so i hope you understood how to work on the story point how do you create a story point and it makes a work easy to understand and analyze the data in a better manner that's all for this video